You're probably looking at the screen right now and wondering, well, wait a sec, are you using Ubuntu? Is Shift OS now compatible with Ubuntu? Now, the answer to that question, unfortunately, is no. And just for your reference, this is what Ubuntu 5.04 from 2005 looked like. This was the um, second release of Ubuntu. Now, there is no Shift OS compatibility for Linux yet, uh, no XP. It's really just uh, Vista, Windows 7, and Windows 8 that Shift OS runs on. Now, as you can see, I've got this little image here, applications, and this seriously does look like I'm running Ubuntu. But... As you'll see, if I open some programs, this is just plain old Shift OS with a skin. Now, skinning is the big part of Shift OS 0.0.7. The idea is you're able to customize further now than just the simple colors. Because if you open up the shifter, you'll see Windows. And you can see the whole template is like, wow, look at that. You've got the close button, the maximize button, which actually is a roll up button, just for reference. So when you go to title bar, you can see title bar color. Now what you're doing here, and you change all the sizes and stuff, and I've got corners on and off. So you obviously want corners on if you're going to have a skin. And then you set the corner width. Um, you can also do rounded windows. When you usually open title bar, like title bar color, you select a color with the color picker. But this time around, it's a little different. To set a skin, what you're going to do is you're going to right click, and you can see the graphic picker has popped up. So left click will open the color picker, while right click will open the graphic picker. So what you do with the graphic picker is you choose something like tile or center or stretch and you change this depending on what you're using. So a desktop background, you're obviously going to want it to stretch, but the same might not go for something like um, title bar. So for the title bar, I'm going to choose tile and obviously um, in pictures, skins, Ubuntu 5.04, my image is the title bar. And when I click open, you can see that's what it looks like as a tile center. It's just like that because it's only a little image. You see this tiny little image is stretched across the title bar. And then you've got stretch, which pretty much gives the same result, although it would be a little bit more pixelated if you weren't going to tile it. And zoom is something else, but we won't get into that. Anyway, so that's how skinning with the shifter works. So basically you go, you right click what you want, and then you can start skinning. You've also got individual borders, so you can set the bottom, right corner, left corner, and all these can be individual colors, or in this case, I've set it as the Ubuntu skin. So what we're gonna do, oh, and I'll also show you, you've got close button, but the thing that you have to focus on here is that close button height and close button width, stuff like this, 17 pixels. I went to the actual Ubuntu 5 operating system. I took a screenshot of it and I thought, okay, how big is this? This is 17 pixels and I used Fireworks to, you know, copy this into its own little file and it was the close button file which I made and it was 17 pixels by 17 pixels. So what I've done is set this as 17 by 17 pixels. If you don't set it as that, let's say you do it as 11, it doesn't look as good, does it? So you've always got to make sure this skin is the same size as the image. Just to show you um, another Another program here, the skin loader. Now this gives you a nice beautiful little display of the skin you're actually using. I've got the window preview here which shows you what the windows would look like in the skin and you can see the desktop with the applications button and the time and the desktop background. Now what's actually going on here, skin loader is something that you're not actually going to be able to get until you're in the game a little bit more. There's going to be a customization website within the game and from that website it will have stuff where you can customize things that you wouldn't usually be able to customize. For example, it might add the feature for you to resize windows, or you might find another feature from that in-game website which allows you to set a transparent taskbar. And much later you'll find more websites that allow you to totally customize your desktop much better than what you currently can. Like new window managers and desktop environments and stuff will be available in future versions of Shift OS. Now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to use the skin loader, which you would usually buy, when I say buy, I'm talking about in BitNotes, which is an in-game currency, which is a pun on the word Bitcoins in real life. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to load skin, and it opens me up in the file opener here, and I'm going to change the skin 
So instead of using the Ubuntu uh, skin, you've got these skin files. So once you've made a skin, let's say I've just created this skin in the shifter, I can click save skin and then it'll save as one of these files. So these are just some files I've pre-made and I'm going to include them with shift OS like as a little bonus here for 0.0.7 alpha 3 and this will allow you to kind of see how skins are made and you can start making your own skin. Like literally, I just randomly chose Windows XP Ubuntu 5.04 and Windows 95. Those were just three operating systems I choose. You could do this with any operating system, but note that some operating systems work better than others. Now, I want to give you an example here of why Windows 95, that skin does not work well with Shift OS. So I'm going to just open that skin. Already you can see a little bit of a problem here. Uh, let me just get the terminal up. So I've just got something else on the screen. Now watch this. You can see the whole... I, I didn't get the font right. I can never get the font right here. <laughs> but you can see the like buttons and stuff and the blue title bar. And The issue here, though, all the windows are meant to be grey. Let me just apply this skin so you can see what it looks like. Boom. There you go. I've got my start button. I've got my time in the little thing at the bottom. It, it just... It's amazing how you can just shift. It's literally like you were shifting OS. I was using Ubuntu 5.04 and I've just shift OS to Windows 95. It's pretty cool how this whole thing works. Now the thing is, however, this skin doesn't work well because as you can see, there's a lot of white in shift OS and Windows 95 is gray based. There is so much gray, this color you're seeing here in all the borders. Now what happens is I've actually just added that fake gradient in there that gradient is not a part of the Windows 95 skin. I've had to add that so it wouldn't look strange, but it still does kind of look strange. So this Windows 95 skin isn't an exact Windows 95 skin. It's a kind of a clone that I've modified to make it kind of fit with Shift OS. But the Windows 95 skin doesn't fit because I would need to make the backgrounds of all Windows grey, which may be available in Shift OS 0.0.7 Alpha 4. And that means, yeah, you'll have a grey background and you won't need to do the fake gradients I've just been doing here. Anyway, let's move on to uh, another skin, the Windows XP skin. Now, the reason I want to show you this skin, which, as you can see, it looks fantastic here, is because, look at that, the windows are actually curved. Yes, you can have curved skins, curved windows in Shift OS. Now, the thing about curved windows is, and I'll just quit the skin loader now and I might just open something else. Ah, here's a little bug I want to point out. My Windows 7 taskbar is showing. What you need to do is you need to hide your taskbar so that this start menu, or whatever you want to call it, actually lines up with the start button. You can do everything you can do with Shift OS. Here we go, here is Pong in Shift OS. It's just amazing. And you can do everything the same way. Here you go, here's Pong running it. And there we go, it looks like you're running like some Windows, crazy Windows XP Pong, but this is actually Shift OS running, just with a different skin. And you can change Shift OS dramatically with each skin that you set. Anyway, let's quit that now. With the skin here, what you have to use if you want a curved window is you need to use the RGB color, which is 101. RGB standing for red, green, blue, okay? So RGB one, that means one red, zero green, and one blue. So if you can set that in Fireworks, um, Fireworks uses hex, so you need to change it around a little bit. But basically you can test out all these skins. However, skinning in the actual full 0.0.7 will start off a little slower than this. It's only like this now because the in-game skin drawer doesn't exist. You'll have a program in the game called ArtPad and you'll open this ArtPad program, draw your skins in ArtPad and then you'll be able to apply them. So at first you won't have the ability to go, oh yeah, I want to make some random skin here. Um, what do I want to make? You know, Windows 3.11, just an example. Let's say you wanted to make a skin like that. Now the thing is, you are unable to set skins like that initially. You'll only be able to set gradients initially. So you'll, let's pretend ArtPad was open. I'll just use a text pad instead. You make a new image file in, say, ArtPad, which doesn't exist here yet. The 0.0.7 um, betas will focus on the whole ArtPad side of things. And you see, oh, 
here we go. Here is um, my new drawing. I want it to be, and let's say you say, okay, 5 pixels by 20 pixels. You won't be able to do that initially, and that's 100 pixels in total. Now, the width and the height, you have to set that in a way which abides by the pixel limit. So your initial pixel limit will be just 2 pixels. So really, you can have it too high by one width or two width by one height, and that's going to be the initial limitation. So what you could do with this is you could say, okay, let's make a title bar. I want it to be red on this side and orange on this side. Then you can use the stretch tool in the shifter, and let's say you go to Windows, title bar, and you set the title bar color. You could actually just do your little red and orange pixel. You could load it straight up into here, that little graphic that you make. Click stretch, and it'll actually produce a gradient from red on one side to orange on the other side. And that's how it will start off, okay? Skinning starts off simple. You eventually get new tools, because initially it's actually text-based graphic editing, and that's very hard. You have to, like, say, set pixel 0, 0, which is, or pixel 1, 1 as color dot, and you're doing, you know, that kind of thing. And you can only use in skinning the colors you've unlocked. So you won't actually be able to do full skinning like this until you've unlocked all the RGB colors in the full version. And another mode called Unity Mode, which allows you to use Shift OS and Windows programs at the same time, and allows Shift OS to be able to successfully load Windows compatible files, because initially you'll only be able to load ArtPad files, um, such as .pic files, pic files, picture files, that's just what I've called them. So this whole skinning thing is going to be amazing. Start off with gradients, increase the amount of tools you have, slowly increase the pixel limit so you can make bigger and bigger, you know, pictures, which produces generally better skins. Then you start getting into Unity mode and you can start ripping skins from other operating systems. It's just amazing. Uh, if you want me to give you a tutorial on how to rip skins from another operating system, now when I say rip skins, with Windows XP I actually extract the skins out of the DLL file. That was a little tricky, but what I usually do here, for example this Ubuntu 5.04 skin, I've just simply got a screenshot of Ubuntu and extracted from that each little individual thing. So I got, I grabbed a little bit of the title bar, saved that as a file, grabbed a bit of this and that. So if you want a little skinning tutorial, how do I turn a real operating system skin? Maybe give me an idea, say, oh, I want to turn, I don't know, Ubuntu 10.04 into a Shift OS skin. I can show you how to do that. Um, just hit me up in the comment section of what you'd like to see and I can try and make a skin. Remember though, however, with skins, the actual document, then sorry there's a bug that makes you have to go in and out of the folder to see them. These files contain the exact location of the skin. So if your skin, let's say you made a skin, if you move this Windows XP folder up a level into just the pictures folder, suddenly the skin won't work. So when you download these skins, you actually have to make sure they're in C slash Shift OS slash Home slash Pictures slash Skins. Now, you could put them in any folder you want if you're making your own skin. That's just the kind of location I've chosen. But once you click Save Skin, the actual pictures that you use, the graphics that you use to make the skin, have to stay in that folder. I hope you've enjoyed this little preview of Shift OS 0.0.7 Alpha 3. Please feel free to download this, make your own skins, play around with the skins I've already put in there. Design your own skins from scratch. I highly recommend you use Adobe Fireworks because that is the best program I've found. Um, and eventually the art pad will come and then the full 0.0.7 release will come. So I look forward to the future of Shift OS and I will see you in the next dev update video. Goodbye.